For today's watch review, we're taking a look at the Hamilton Khaki Aviation Pilot Watch. I've got the model number on the screen for you, and if you were wondering, this is the same model featured in the Interstellar film with Matthew McConaughey. So let's get right into it. For price, you can find this watch in price ranging from $650 all the way up to $1,000. Before we look at the dimensions, let's just do a quick 360. Mostly just so you can see how light falls on it at different angles. Very beautiful watch. Here's the buckle, or I'm sorry, the clasp. And case back. And there you go. For dimensions, from 9 to 3 o'clock, including the crown, we get roughly just over 45 millimeters and then for case height comes in just under 12 millimeters and then a lug to lug get right around 48 millimeters for weight the watch comes in right at 163 grams or 5 and 5 8 ounces here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Very comfortable and very practical to wear as far as the dimensions go. Going over some of the specs here, as far as the internal movement goes, this comes with the H40 movement. That is an in-house Hamilton movement. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about it and so far for me personally, it's been a very reliable and dependable movement. It does have an 80 hour power reserve which comes to around three and a half days. So you can take it off on a Friday, put it back on on a Monday, and you should be good to go. Another kind of cool feature here is we do have the day date complication with the day being here at the top and then the date being here at the bottom. I'm sure that's a common feature in other watches. For me, this is a very new thing, so I appreciate it. But what makes it very cool is the fact that the day is a quick change day and you'll see on the screen what I mean but once the watch passes midnight then the day immediately changes to the next day it's not like a gradual change uh, as time goes on it's instantaneous and it's the coolest thing ever we also have just a beautifully executed domed sapphire crystal here I really like what they did it's very clean and classy I mean you can see for yourself just how beautiful that crystal is. We've got a signed crown here, however it is non-screw down, but that still allows for 100 meters of water resistance to the overall watch, so no complaints there. And it does make it a lot easier to access the hand winding functionality of the watch. Here's a better look at that display case back while I would have preferred a screw down case back, there's something about those four screws holding the case back to the watch that give it a very industrial tool-like design and style that is just so enjoyable to have. Plus that finishing, which is throughout the entire body, is just beautifully done and um, it makes it a joy to just have it on the wrist and even to just observe and admire you know, while you're sitting down and just taking a look at the watch. For the bracelet, I think we've got a fantastic bracelet here. Just like with everything else, you've got a brushed finish that is just wonderfully done and it gives it that look that is so appealing. Um, we do have some branding here, so you've got Hamilton written right there and then Hamilton written right there. And normally I feel like too much branding can be a little tacky and obnoxious, but here I feel like they did a very tasteful job and it, it gives it just enough character without being too in your face. For loom, we've got it applied on the hands and the markers, and you can see it clear enough here on the screen, but you're just seeing a snapshot. Realistically, this loom is going to die out or burn out very quickly, and that is quite disappointing. Also considering the price that you're paying, you know, whether you bought it for $600 or $1,000, you could have definitely had better quality loom. Um, considering you've got plenty of Chinese companies 
on the market today that are selling their watches at a fraction of the cost and their loom is far superior. And also they're calling this a pilot watch or a Flieger watch and you would think just practically that having a watch that has decent loom would be something that is uh, very important for a pilot or just somebody who flies a lot. So those are my thoughts on that. You know, really that's one of the main negative things about the watch, but you know, we'll, we'll continue on with my opinions here in the video. So if you are interested in this watch, one thing that you'll hear a lot of is that it is a Flieger watch and it's also a Type B Flieger watch. And if you didn't know, we'll just go over a quick explanation on what all that means. So Flieger is just the German word for aviator or pilot. So when you hear somebody saying a Flieger watch, it's just a fancy way of saying pilot watch. Now under the title of Flieger watch, there's a subcategory of watches that are called B Uhren watches. The B stands for this word that I'm going to put on the screen because I'm not going to mutilate it with my horrible German pronunciation. But what that means, directly translated to English, is observation clock or like a navigator's watch. Now going further down the line, under the classification of B Uhren, there are two types. There's a type A, which you can see here, and you can see that the main thing here is that the indices all have Arabic numerals all around it with the 12 o'clock being a triangle normally with the apex pointed downwards and then a type B which is what we have here with the Hamilton khaki so instead of the hours where they should be you've got the minutes on the main indices and then another inner circle where the hours are then placed so knowing what we know now about Fleer watches and Type A and Type B and what have you, um, I came to the conclusion that this really isn't a Flieger watch. I think it is a Flieger style watch with heavy influences from the Type B B Uhren watch. The reason why I think this is because normally Flieger watches, or specifically B Uhren watches, are supposed to have very large pronounced crowns to easily use while wearing heavy thick pilot gloves and also I would imagine that they should have some kind of very powerful loom so that you can use the watch as you're navigating the um, your charts or you know whatever in the dark especially during the World War II time period when these watches were mostly used now is that a bad thing Absolutely not. You know, the fact that this isn't a genuine Flieger watch that is designed for World War II pilots is not a big deal to me. Aside from that, this is a fantastic and beautiful watch. Absolutely beautiful. You are hard pressed to find a watch that is better looking than this one when it comes to those applied indices and how it changes so much as light falls on it from different angles. It really is such a beautiful watch and I completely understand why they wanted this in the film. Because yeah, it may not be practical for what it was designed to be used for, but just as a regular watch, man, it is a looker and it is absolutely stunning. It's just a classy watch, very elegant and for me, this is one of those watches that I enjoy to just put on when I get home from work or even at the office. I really like to wear this one, especially when I'm wearing more of a, not so much formal, but let's say business or business casual. You know, it fits right in and um, it's definitely going to take up a lot of wrist time because there's nothing about it that really jumps out at you, but it is so well done that it will capture the attention of your peers without looking tacky or obnoxious. So do I recommend this watch to you? That really all depends. If you're looking for an actual pilot watch, then I'm gonna say pass on this one because there are probably many other models out there at a more affordable cost that are way more practical to be used for aviators. But if you're looking for a watch that looks super clean and is absolutely beautiful, then heck yeah, I recommend this watch. Because like I said before, it's beautiful, but it's also got that 
collectability factor to it because it was featured in the Interstellar movie, which in my opinion was a fantastic movie. So anything that can relate or be tied to a great movie is a really fun and um, beautiful thing. So, you know, I recommend getting it if that's the reason why you want it. You know, it's still affordable. Well, relatively affordable, you know, it's not like a a $20,000 luxury watch, right? You know, it's it's at worst a thousand bucks. So, you know, you put away some money for a couple of months and you can easily get it. Uh, and while you're getting a collectible, you're also getting a beautiful watch. So before I keep on rambling on and on, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this review and uh, I do have several other reviews coming up in the future. So. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe, like, and share if you can. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.